Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Hotopia game stuck on loading screen or not launching, not opening, won't start error on PC. So let's go through the methods. So the very first method is to restart your PC. So for that, click on the Windows icon over here. Now click on power and then select restart. So this will restart your PC. Once your PC restarts, now check if you can play the game. If not, next method is to update your graphics card. So for that, go to the Windows search. Now search for device manager. Now here expand display adapter, select your graphics card, right click on it, click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. So this will check and update your graphics drivers. Once done, launch the game and check NVIDIA and AMD users. Go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there. Next solution is to modify launch option. So for that, go to Steam. Under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties. Under general here, you have to type minus DX11 and then try to launch the game and check if it's working now. If not, again, come back, type minus DX12 and then try to launch the game and check if this resolves the issue. If not, then come back, remove the launch option and move to the next method. The next method is to allow hot OPIA through firewall. So for that, go to the Windows search, search for Windows security. Now here you have to click on firewall network protection, click on allow an app through firewall. Click on change settings and here you have to search for the game whether it's listed or not. If you cannot find the game. So here is the game. If you cannot find the game, click on allow another app. Click on browse. Now go to the game folder where your game has been installed. Select the game application. Add it to the list over here. Once the game is added, select it. Make sure both private and public boxes are ticked. And then click on OK. And after that, launch the game and check if this resolves the problem. If not, next method is to verify integrity of game files. So for that, go to Steam. Under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties, click on install files, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now, once the game files are verified, now try to launch the game and check. If not, next is to run game from the installation folder. For that, go to Steam, select your game under library section, right click on it, click on manage, now click on browse local files. This will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed. Here is the game application. Now double click on it and check if the game is opening or not. If not, you have to run the game as administrator for that. Select the application, right click on it, click on properties, now click on compatibility. And here select run this program as an administrator, hit on apply and OK, and then launch the game and check if this resolves the problem. If not, again come back, select run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 or previous version Windows 7, hit on apply and OK, and launch the game and check. If not, again come back, Select Disable Full Screen Optimizations, click on Apply and OK and after that try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem. If the issue still occurs, come back, uncheck all of these, hit on Apply and OK and then move to the next method. Well, the next method is to check graphic settings of the game. So when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture, quality, resolution, anti-aliasing, etc. then it directly impacts the game. And this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues. So if you can launch the game but still the game crashes, then you have to make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue. Next solution is to disable in-game overlays. So Steam users go to Steam, click on Steam option, now click on settings, go below, click on in-game and here you can see enable the Steam overlay while in-game option. If it is enabled, you have to click on it to disable it. Now once it is disabled, now check if the game is opening or not. For GeForce Experience users, open GeForce Experience, tap on gear icon beside username, click on general and here switch off in-game overlay options. For discord overlay, go to the user settings, game overlay tab, switch off, enable in-game overlay options from here. Next method is to disable third-party overlay applications. So if there is any third-party overlay applications enabled like Nvidia Shadowplay or MS Afterburner, then you should disable it. This can lead to unexpected issue while playing the game. If not, next is to install Visual C++ files. So for that, I have already provided this link in the description. You just have to copy and paste it in your browser or even you can search for visual c++ files on google now once the website opens go below from here you have to click on the link to download once it is downloaded click on it to open and you will get repair or install option click on it and wait for some time now once you get setup successful message close it and now restart your pc and after restarting your system now try to launch the game and then check if you can play it if not, next method is to update Windows. So for that, go to the Windows search. Now search for check for updates. This will take you to the Windows update page. Here you have to click on check for updates and it will check if there is any update available. If yes, update your Windows to the latest version and after that try to launch the game and then check if 
the game is opening or not if not next is to run game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for graphics settings now here you have to add your game to the list for that click on add a desktop app now go to the game folder uh, where your game has been installed select the game application now after adding the game to the list uh, now click on the arrow icon and under GPU preference you have to select high performance and after that try to play the game and see if you can play it if not then the final solution is to reinstall hot op your game for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so this will completely remove the game from your pc after that restart your pc once once your pc restarts launch steam and again reinstall hotopia game and then click on the play button to check whether it's working or not